show, RYA London Dingy Show, here at the Alexandria Palace in the UK. It's the biggest dingy show in the world, and they estimate thousands of youth are here. We've seen tons of them. So we're going to go inside and show you some of our favorite stuff. So we're here looking at the RS Arrow, and we just picked the thing up with our fingertips. And you really have to lift this boat to believe that something this large can weigh what this boat weighs. It uh, fits right on top of a car, no problem, even if it's a little guy. And you can probably put it up there yourself for that matter. Um, but let's hear a little bit more about it. For TV. Maybe it's just strong. Wow. It's like you can throw it in the air. It's crazy. <laughs> We believe that the aero is the future of single-handed sailing. This is a boat which weighs the hull weights um, 70 pounds, 75 pounds, and the full sailing weights around 100 pounds. I'll tell you what, how that defines the boat. Everything about it is, is completely uh, revolves around its light weight. It's a carbon uh, epoxy hull, carbon reinforced uh, gunner edge. Everything about the shape of the boat has been designed with light weight in mind. So the the shapes and the contours are designed to minimize the amount of, uh, of material that's used in the hull. Uh, and that's what gives it its light weight. It's not just a thin laminate by any stretch, it's the same type of laminate that we've used for years and years on many of the other RS boats in the range. Aero was launched in March, this, this show last year in March. And we've been absolutely thrilled to have taken orders for 750 or more boats in the year that we've, uh, that we've been supplying. Um, wow. He uses a seldom finished carbon mast and boom uh, and a, north, a beautiful north uh, a radial cut mainsail and is a similar price to um, a traditional Olympic single-hander. Um, so where do you see, like, you see kids coming right out of the Opti and straight into this boat? Yeah, in the Aero 5 that's totally feasible. Um, children come straight from an Opti into a boat like an Aero 5 and then right up to 220 pound guys uh, with, the, with Aero 9. Uh, so a full spread. This is a boat that a guy could sail, as could his wife, as could his children, just with three bottom sections and three mainsails. So it's a two-piece mast? It's a two-piece mast, yeah. The bottom section of the mast differs between the rigs, and it, but they share the same top section and the same boom. Um, is that the joint up there? That's right, yeah. So, wow, that's really clean. This is a boat that's so light that you could even put two of them on the roof of the car. This is a boat which is so light and manoeuvrable that it jibes and tacks more like a windsurf than it does a sailboat. Wow. There's no inertia, there's no crash when the boat jibes, when the, when the boat turns around. Um, that makes it an utter joy to sail in all kinds of conditions. How long does it take to rig? Well, once you've got rigged up, it's a very quick exercise. Um, the control lines will all be led on, so it's just a case of hoisting the mainsail, putting the mast together, um, sorry, putting the mast together, pushing the mast into the slot, and hoisting up the mainsail. So it's a very quick exercise. Um, there's no reason why you couldn't be sailing within minutes of arriving at the club. I think the, the key thing about the Aero is that it completely redefines sailing in its absolutely most simple form. Um, you know, there's nothing complicated, there's nothing extreme about it. By having a boat which is very light, it doesn't need a lot of power. And by having a boat which doesn't have a lot of power, it means it's less extreme for the same amount of speed. So even the smallest, uh, even the smallest rig, RS Aero, is very close in comparison to speed to a full-sailed laser. Wow. And are they stackable? Shapes so yeah, they can... Yeah, absolutely. They can stack for transit and they'll stack in transit. Uh, in a container for shipping, they're very economical to ship around the world. Uh, they nest together and stack. Uh, they can be stacked up to six high. You can even put two of them on the roof of the car. And durable enough to be a program boat? Uh, yeah, there's no reason why a, an, an epoxy, uh, epoxy carbon boat shouldn't be used in this, these types of circumstances. It's not polyethylene by any stretch, so these things are relative. Um, but uh, it's, it's, it's ease of use and the fact that it's so light makes it less prone to being damaged. Awesome. So we're here at the RS Aero still, and one thing that's very cool is you can get this custom camera mount, just like that, like these guys have done here, and it comes with the boat. And then you've got your water bottle holder, which we looked at earlier. One of my favorite things we've seen, and Brooks is going to operate here, is a custom gudgeon for the rudder made by Selden, where you just push the uh, push the little slider in, and the rudder pops right off, so you don't pinch your fingers anymore. And then the back, back edge of the rudder here is pretty cool. It's, uh, it's fared down much closer on one side. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really slick so the thing doesn't vibrate and it comes from the factory like that. The Fever is the perfect step, step after Optis to keep children in sailing. 
What age group are you guys sailing in this boat? Well, from the point that you finish sailing in an Opti, right through to, or in an open BIC, right through till the time when you would start sailing in a, uh, in, a in a 420 or in a 29, this boat will totally prepare children for um, more high performance racing. RS 500s, 29ers, wherever, 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 wherever you want to go. Multiple ISAF Youth World Champions and uh, Olympic squad sailors have come through the fever. What we find with double-handed sailing uh, of that age group is that girls in particular are very sociable and they like to sail together. So where, children, where uh, the children will come out of Opti's, they find the fever a very natural way of continuing with sailing because two girls sailing together is a really good, a really good way of keeping them in the school. So it's, um, from our perspective, one of the most popular boats in the range. Awesome. Uh, we just launched a fantastic initiative uh, collaborating with Big Sport North America to uh, incorporate the fever into adventure sailing programs across the nation after sailing Vix or, uh, or Opti's um, to move into a boat like the fever which is a double-handed boat for two children to combine uh, weight from 130 up to about 240 to 245 pounds together. It's got an asymmetric spinnaker for sailing downwind. Um, so children right from about 10 years old to 16 or 17 years, 16 years old at the, at the top end, really much, pretty much before they would go into club or twenties or to um, into more more youth orientated classes. Um, is used all over the world as a huge international race class. There's thousands of them around. They've really helped to trans transform sailing in, in the retention of children of in sailing right across the world. It has an aluminum dagger board um, which, is, which floats and it's got sacrificial plates if you hit the bottom. It's very robust three layer polyethylene plastic. Um, so this is uh, incredibly robust for, for the time in children's lives when they're really starting to, um, to race at the top level or indeed if they're you know, further down the, uh, the, 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 the ladder of learning and they're, they're, they're bumping around. Uh, so knocks and, uh, knocks and um, uh, banging around on the beach is, is perfectly within the realms of a boat like this. Um, as a mylar mainsail, the fever is raced and sailed in 40, 40 to 50 different countries around the world, um, all over Europe and uh, the UK and Australia and New Zealand. Um, as I say, the, the North America is really the last one of one of the last developed sailing nations to to really see the benefits of a boat like this.